look. Oh, wow. Come on, Uncle Scotty. Hurry up, Scotty. Scotty. Hurry up, Scotty. Okay, looking up and they're out to the aircraft. Thank oh, you God. very much. It's slow. <laughs> so high, I couldn't see him leave. And they're tracking across the they sky. They are moving. Some are doing yes. 180 miles an hour oh, on the outside. God. The main body's doing 120 miles an hour wow. straight down. That's they're nuts. all looking at flight Look. Sergeant Mike Look. McGuire. Look. Who at this time will be putting his hand oh, round to his right oh, rear onto his toggle oh, and to pull the parachutes all together. And then to get, get into that stack of the Royal Air Force Falcons. Just gone into that little bit of cloud at the moment. Do you imagine, Rob, that's cool, a little eh? bit difficult yeah, because like they've just pulled their parachutes. <laughs> They're in cloud. They've got to watch, of course, they don't make any violent movements to come out of the cloud and then to start stacking one on top of each other. So the Royal Air Force Falcons are the only parachute display team in the world to be able to do this manoeuvre of a loose stack. That's to get together, so in that stack, but just stay just a few feet apart. They carry red hot slopes on the bottom of their ankles. Okay, now they carry four in total. And if they were to touch the parachute below them, then I'm afraid he would have to go and say cut away and go onto his reserve parachute. So they don't want to get too close. Okay, we've got our two flags that are actually coming in. And these are being brought in by Sergeant Dave Warboys from Sheringham in Norfolk and Sergeant Carl Harris from Middlesbrough. So the two flags above them, as you can see, the Falcons just getting into that famous stack. Now starting at the, the bottom of the stack, we've got Sergeant Mike McGuire with the white smoke, and he's leading the team down onto this drop zone. He's one of the ones the, uh, now above him, he's got the uh, third year. That's the ones that have huh? been on the team for so three years. I can't even come really off see my the team screen. at the end of this so. season. Then it goes up to the second years, and then it gets right at the very top. We stick our newcomers right at the top. Now, it's the hardest position to be in right at the top because the parachutes will take away the air from the one that is below them and so on. So it's very difficult to be able to maintain that stand. Down here on the ground, Look, look, right up. It's, it's going about look, 10 knots. Up there, up. it's about 30 knots. Splitting up. A split stack spiral, ladies and gentlemen. This is our heart look. in the air look. for all you ladies. You if you look at it, you will be able to see a sort of a heart, but that's our heart. I know the red arrows do theirs. This is ours. So look at that, slotting back into position, getting into that famous stack of the Royal Air Force Falcons. The Falcons are regarded as the most premier display team in the world and as I said the only parachute display team to be able to perform this manoeuvre. Okay. So people again send okay. their troops and send their parachutes from around the world to be taught by us at the number one parachute training school. Ladies and gentlemen it's wonderful to be You're British. So look at there we've got, we've got uh, the Falcons all in their stack and you see absolute control. You can see why they are the parachute jump instructors of the airborne delivery wing. Making a turn. Now Mike McGuire, I haven't, so I haven't got my little radio with me today, but Mike McGuire is talking to the rest of the team and he's just telling them to turn left, turn right, much like the Red Arrows do in their displays. So the two flag man, which will be coming down earlier into this, will be the rougher flag, has of course the answers. I'd say they're a lot lower, will be coming down absolutely right on the button, and they're all landing right in front of the VIP tent, which is a little bit further from where I am now. I won't exactly right. see them when they actually so, touch down, right. so I'm going to have to do a bit of guesswork when they do. So ladies and gentlemen, we've got our two flag men. Oh, when I say men, honestly, the ladies out there, you too can be joined the Falcons. Just join the physical education branch, go through exactly the same. We've had ladies in the past, but we need some ladies. So come on, ladies, if you want to join the Royal Air Force and become a Falcon and be doing this, get down there to your recruiting office and let's see more of you join the physical education branch. So he'll be kind of near the top? So we've got our two flagmen now. I don't know which one that is. We've 
We've got some Carl Harris from Middlesbrough, some Dave Moore yeah, boys from Sheremy Norfolk. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, they can all hear you from now. Let's give them a rapturous applause. So I want everybody that can hear me. So Yeah, oh, cool. <laughs> on the, the, on the uh, ground to receive them, 